in this session i'll be going to explain example based on rectangular wave guide so here the dimensions of wave guide that is been given by 2.5 cross 1 cm square it means value of a that is given by 2.5 cm and value of b that is given by 1.1 cm and the frequency is 8.6 gigahertz so frequency of operation that is given by 8.6 gigahertz now here we are deal with to find out three things one is possible modes second is guide wavelength and third is cut off frequency for all those possible modes so here based on this given quantity let us calculate first operating wavelength so here operating frequency that is given by 8.6 gigahertz so operating wavelength that is c by f0 c is velocity of light so that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 and this is 8.6 gigahertz and if we solve this we will be having value of lambda 0 that is 3.488 centimeter so this is what lambda 0 which is what there with our case now we are deal with to find out <coughs> all possible modes so the condition for possible modes condition for propagation of mode that is in terms of wavelength we can say lambda c that should be greater than lambda 0 and in terms of frequency f c that should be less than f 0 now here we have lambda 0 now how to have a calculation of lambda c so lambda c that we can identify by lambda c is equals to 2 ab divided by square root of m square b square plus n square a square and to have a calculation of cut off frequency basic formula is fc is equals to c by 2 square root of m by a whole square plus n by b whole square so that is how we can identify what is cut off wavelength and what is cut off frequency now as we have discussed in theory portion we are deal with to identify possible modes and for a calculation of sequence of possible modes we need to have a sequence of checking and that sequence of checking should be in this cube we need to identify te10 first then we need to identify te10 first then te 11 te 21 te 12 te 22 so this is what the sequence which is what we need to check out and frequency for tm 11 and te 11 is same frequency for tm 21 and te 21 that is same frequency for te 12 and te tm 12 that is similar so that is how we have transverse magnetic mode and transverse electric mode in wave guide now here what we need to do these are the modes that is compulsory to check so te10 te1 te01 te10 te01 te11 so these three modes are compulsory for a checking now let us have a calculation now i'll be calculating this example based on wavelength checking we can do that checking based on frequency even but here i'll be doing that for wavelength similarly you can have that checking based on frequency so here i'll be checking this for first <coughs> te10 mode now for te10 mode lambda c te10 so here for t10 mode 
m is equals to 1 and n is equals to 0. So if I place m is equals to 1 and n is equals to 0, this will be 0 and this is what b square out of square root that will be and b b will get cancelled and will be having lambda c t e 1 0 that is twice a and here as we have dimension a is equals to 2.5 so if I place that I will be having 2 into 2.5 that is 5 centimeter and if we see this is greater than lambda 0 lambda 0 is 3.488 so this is greater than lambda 0 so we can say this mode is te10 mode is possible so let us have a checking for other modes so now i'll be checking that for second mode that is what i have mentioned over here te01 mode so now for te01 mode m is equals to 0 and n is equals to 1. Now if m is equals to 0 that I, that if I place over here so this will be 0 and n is equals to 1 so this is what square root of a square that is a a will get cancelled and lambda c for t 0 1 mode that will be 2b and if I place values b is 1 centimeter so if I place over here this will be 2 centimeter and that is less than lambda 0 the reason is lambda 0 is 3.488 centimeter so from this we can say te01 mode is not possible now for third mode that is te21 for, for sorry for third mode that is te11 i'll check first so for te11 or tm11 m is equals to 1 and n is equals to 1 so lambda c te11 that will be if i place m and n 1 over here lambda c will be 2 a b divided by square root of a square plus b square where a is equals to 2.5 and b is equals to 1 so this will be 2 into 2.5 into 1 divided by square root of 2.5 square plus 1 square and if we solve this we will be having t e 1 1 that is 1.856 which is what less than lambda 0 so we can say te11 or tm11 is not possible so this is how we can confine which modes are possible so after checking this three mode if we find t e 1 1 is not possible then we don't need to check it for further modes the reason is those are even not possible so here only one mode is possible that is t e 1 0 so this mode is only the possible mode in this rectangular waveguide now for this mode we are dealing with to identify cutoff frequency as well as guided wavelength so let us calculate cutoff frequency as well as guided wavelength for this mode so for cutoff frequency fc for te10 mode we can say it is c by lambda c for te10 mode and if we placed values 3 into 10 to the power 8 and this is 5 centimeter so centimeter is converted into meter by 5 into 10 to the power minus 2 and we have frequency which is 6 gigahertz so cutoff frequency is 6 gigahertz now for last calculation which is 
guided wavelength we need to calculate that by basic formula guided wavelength lambda g that we can calculate by lambda 0 divided by square root of 1 minus lambda 0 by lambda c whole square and where lambda 0 that is 3.488 which is what we have calculated and lambda c for this is 5 centimeter and if I place all those values I will be having guided wavelength that is 4.868 centimeter so you can verify even those answers which is what I am writing it over here so this is how we can find out guided wavelength for that possible mode so here answers for this is only possible mode is TE10 mode cutoff frequency for TE10 mode is 6 gigahertz and guided wavelength for that mode is 4.868 centimeter so these are the answers which is there with this question now I'll be calculating one more example and for that example calculation we are having problem based on rectangular waveguide so here in this rectangular waveguide we can see dielectric material that is epsilon r and that is equals to 4 and dimensions of this is been given that is a is equals to 3 centimeter and b is equals to 1.2 centimeter now we are dealing with to identify cutoff frequency for this dominant mode now dominant mode dominant mode for rectangular waveguide is te10 mode so this is the dominant mode which is there with this rectangular waveguide so based on this we can have other values like see m is equals to 1 and n is equals to 0 now here we are dealing with to identify cutoff frequency for same so basic formula for cutoff frequency that is c by 2 into square root of m by a whole square plus n by b whole square where c is 3 into 10 to the power 8 but it is there in dielectric material of 4 so divide by square root of epsilon r that we need to do and m is equals to 1 and n is equals to 0 and if I place those things then it will be square root of 1 divided by a square that is 3 into 10 to the power minus 2 whole square plus 0 square the reason is n is equals to 0 and if we calculate this in that case epsilon r is equals to 4 that we need to substitute and if we place all those data which is there in this question then we will be having cutoff frequency that is 2.5 gigahertz so here one thing that we need to remember when we solve this kind of problem with dielectric material when dielectric material is given so for dielectric material velocity of light that will changes to velocity of light in free space divided by square root of epsilon r so this is what we need to consider so here instead of velocity of light c we need to write v and that is actually c by square root of epsilon r so this is what the case which we need to see when we have dielectric material so consider this when you calculate these examples like epsilon r is been given now one more problem for this station that is given over here where the cutoff frequency of dominant mode of rectangular waveguide is having aspects ratio more than 2 so here data that is given which is a by b that is greater than 2 so we can say here one data that is given which is what a is greater than 2b and frequency that is cutoff frequency is given so dominant mode so here dominant mode is te10 mode 
so for that we have m is equals to 1 n is equals to 0 and cutoff frequency for this is 10 gigahertz so here we are dealing with to identify the inner broad wall dimension so here we are need we are dealing with to calculate inner broad wall dimension so for that what we need to do we need to calculate that with respect to frequency and basic formula for frequency is free cutoff frequency c by 2 into square root of m by a whole square plus n by b whole square now m is equals to 1 and n is equals to 0 and if i place all those values it will be c m by 2a now we have cutoff frequency that is given so cutoff frequency is 10 gigahertz so based on that we can have value of a so ultimately here in this problem a is equals to velocity of light into m divided by 2 into cutoff frequency now place all those values which is available so c is 3 into 10 to the power 8 for dominant mode m is equals to 1 divided by 2 into frequency is 10 gigahertz and if we solve all those data which is given over here we will be having value of a and that will be 1.25 so this is how we can have a solution let us cross verify it so this is 3 divided by 20 so this is 1.5 it is not 1.25 it is 1.5 so 1.5 centimeter so this is how we can have a calculation so here we have inner broad di dimension that is 1.5 centimeter now for b we can say it will be for b even if it is the question in that case we have a is greater than 2b so b that should be less than a by 2 so b that should be less than 0 0.75 centimeter so second answer could be it should be less than 0 0.75 centimeter thank you so much for watching this video in next video i'll be explaining those examples which are already there in previous gate examination as well as DRDO's entrance examination. So that will help you to understand how to solve problems based on wave guide. Thank you so much for watching this video.